So hello, welcome. It is Technique Tuesday again, and I wanted to share with you um, a simple little technique that will help you with your knitting. Um, this should be one of the first things that you learn, and if you're curious to know what that is, stay tuned. I'm a Radiant Noari. I'm the resident witch and creatrix over to Radiant's Hand of Danae's Divine, where um, I admit or I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. And I want to talk about a very simple uh, little thing that's going to help you get started knitting. Um, this is in a series of videos. So we'll be talking about um, all of the individual techniques from casting on to binding off to the actual knit stitch, the actual purl stitch. We'll go over increases, decreases, um, as well as knitting styles and methods. But today we're going to talk about this, the humble and very useful slip knot. So as you can see, I've got a slip knot already here. Uh, this video is actually going to be probably the shortest of the series because it's so very simple. But um, the reason you use a slip knot is so that you can get your work started. Um, there are certainly occasions where you will make a false knot or you will take this um, a knot out because you um, don't want the bump and that is the, that is probably the one drawback of this is, is it does create a bit of a bump um, but all you need is your needles yarn and some patience <laughs> so first things first um, this may take a little bit of doing and, the, and a good slip knot, if you take it off your needles and you pull, it'll come right out. So, I'm going to do this very slowly. This is demo mode. So, we've got the yarn tail. We loop it. Right. And then, you will, this is the shape that you're going to make. It's going to be, this loop is going to be above and on the outside and this loop is going to be on the inside okay Woo. so Woo. and then you pull it and notice if you want to loosen it you will pull the tail. If you want to tighten it, you will pull the working yarn. And so there you go. And again, if you're not sure if you did it right, slip it off the needle and pull. And if it pulls, then you did it right. Um, if for some reason it does not loosen or tighten, then you need to start over. Try again. Take your time. I like to wrap it around fingers. And you can even do this, right, before you put it on the needle. And there you go. You've got a slip knot. You're ready to start working. And uh, there you go. Yay! Hooray! So I hope this video was helpful and clear to you. If you have any questions um, or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any requests for any other videos, um, please, by all means, uh, drop me a line and let me know what videos you would like to see. And happy knitting! Bye!